Hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv and today I want to talk about privacy, specifically the GNU PG project. GNU PG it stands for the GNU Privacy Guard and of course GNU stands for GNU's not Unix. It's a crazy acronym. <laughs> but anyway, GNU PG is the is a free version of a wildly popular um, privacy product that was used back in the day and still used a lot today by security enthusiasts called PGP which stands for pretty good privacy now according to the webpage here GP, GNU PG allows you to encrypt and sign your data and communication which is a in a nutshell what this product does it allows you to protect your data encrypt it and sign it with your own signature which is also encrypted now it uses uh, it uses public key PKA uh, I believe it's called or PKI public key infrastructure and <clears throat> um, and uh, it you essentially set up the system on your machine so that you can encrypt files if you need to email them to someone and that person who receives the message needs to have your public key in order to decrypt the message now this kinda adds security to your data and you're probably asking why would you want to do that well you may have some sensitive data that you're sending such as a password such as a password file such as your your tax return document your bank statement all this sensitive information which could be compromised you know god forbid if your machine was taken or stolen so GNU PG is a free version of PGP which allows you to encrypt that data now you can also use this to encrypt and send email messages and up until recently you had to have a local email client such as uh, back in the day we had Eudora uh, we had, you know on the Mac there's mail.app on Windows there was a uh, Outlook Express you know an Outlook and all these different clients on Linux there was Mutt I used to be a big uh, fan of Mutt I don't use it anymore uh, Pine and all these different email clients which had ties into this project now you can download GNU PG today um, at GNUPG.org and in the binary section I highly recommend you go here unless you're you know comfortable with compiling software and you have different packages for different platforms including Linux Mac OS 10 and Windows now I've set this up on both Windows and on Mac and I gotta say the Windows version is easier to set up uh, since everything is kind of combined into one program now if you want the Mac version go over to macgpg.sourceforge.net and then from there you can uh, download various binaries in this case you can download the GNU PG binary you can download a program that allows you to manage your, pu your public and private keys uh, a file tool a drop thing type thing and, and preferences um, so the power in all of this is that well a lot of us today we use webmail luckily <laughs> there is a new plugin uh, I don't know how new it is I just discovered it a couple weeks ago it's called fire GPG and you can use GPG easily within Firefox you can encrypt certain aspects of your browser most notably Gmail now this is something that I'm using today now let's go over to my email and you'll see that I have the plugin installed this is a, a typical Gmail compose message and there's a fire GPG drop down from here I can sign my email message I can encrypt it I can encrypt and send it I can sign and encrypt it so all these different security things are mine so I'm just going to quickly sign it so you'll see what it looks like and it's going to ask me for the key that I want to use this is my private key and I have to input my password one second let's see and let's go ahead and click OK and as you can see the message has changed it has a header that says begin PGP sign message it has my signature now in plain text format because GNU PG messages have to be in plain text I don't think you can use them with HTML and it has my PGP signature now you notice that I even have in my signature got privacy protect your email with PGP and I put a little advertisement here and I also put a link to my public key in case someone I email wants to decrypt messages I send that are encrypted so that's how easy it is to encrypt and sign messages within Gmail using this very cool fire GPG plugin and the GNU 
privacy guard product so I highly recommend you read up on this how to use it because it is very powerful very flexible and you can do a lot with it other than just email and files all right this is Buona from Buona.tv and this is privacy with GNU PG and fire GPG